J.D. Vance tells Kamala Harris to, and I quote him, go to hell. That was his response today and his exact words when asked about a reported physical altercation between Trump's team and an official at one of the most sacred places in the U.S., Arlington National Cemetery. NPR is reporting that this happened when Trump's team tried to film in the burial site, known as Section 60, where service members from the most recent conflicts are laid to rest. Vance defended the filming, saying that Trump was there to support the families of the 13 U.S. service members killed in the Kabul airport bombing as Biden pulled troops out of Afghanistan. Kamala Harris is disgraceful. We're going to talk about a story out of those 13 brave, innocent Americans who lost their lives. It's that Kamala Harris is so asleep at the wheel that she won't even do an investigation into what happened, and she wants to yell at Donald Trump because he showed up. She can... She can go to hell. Phil Mattingly is out front. And Phil, what more are you learning about this incident? What happened? What the purpose of the filming was? I mean, what do you know? Yeah, Aaron, what you heard from Senator Vance there echoes the very sharp pushback we've seen from Trump officials over the course of the last several days. And an event, or at least an incident, that nobody actually saw outside of the people involved in it. Here's why. The former president was invited by family members of some of those killed, some of the 13 U.S. service members that were killed at Abbey Gate. It was a three-year anniversary of that. He had two real stops during this visit. You're looking at one of them right now, laying two wreaths at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. That is an area where photographers, the press pool was actually there, could see it, could photograph, could film, as you're seeing on the screen right now. After that, Trump had a private meeting with some of the family members of those service members and then went to Section 60, where uh, veterans of recent conflicts are buried with some of those families. It is there where it was made clear to the Trump team that there is not uh, the idea of photography or any type of video was not allowed. In fact, it's against federal law to do any election-related activities at a military burial ground. That is apparently where the dispute actually occurred. Now, the Trump team has pushed back very hard, saying there was no physical altercation. And the former president put out a statement from some of those family members that said, quote, we had given our approval for President Trump's official videographer and photographer to attend the event, ensuring these sacred moments of remembrance were respectfully captured and so we can cherish these memories forever. Now, that doesn't mean that they supersede the federal law that exists, which is at the heart of this dispute. Chris LaSavita, the co-chair of the or co-campaign uh, manager of the Trump campaign, put out a much sharper statement saying, for a despicable individual to physically prevent President Trump's team from accompanying him to this solemn event is a disgrace and does not deserve to represent the hallowed grounds of Arlington National Cemetery. The cemetery officials themselves have not gone beyond an initial statement saying only there was an incident and a report was filed. They are not trying to identify the individual or go much further than that. Clearly, they don't want this to become a big thing. It right. is starting to become a big thing, particularly on the campaign trail, Aaron. Yeah, and interesting, if, if, if Chris LaCivita is talking about uh, someone trying to physically prevent, I mean, it does appear there was uh, some sort of a physical altercation, at least uh, that, that makes that implication. All right, Phil, thank you very much. And I want to go now to Anthony Scaramucci, former Trump White House communications director, who now supports Kamala Harris for president. So, Anthony, I want to ask you about quite a few things here. But first, uh, this incident at, at Arlington National Cemetery, Trump posed four photos during his visit, like the one I'm showing here. Uh, his thumbs were up. He was uh, smiling uh, there with, with families. He also posted a TikTok promoting that he was there. So when you heard that his team got into an altercation with a cemetery official as they tried to film the visit, you see Chris LaCivita talks about that there was physical prevention. What was your reaction? Well, I, I want to be careful because there are uh, men and women there that are mourning our veterans on that sacred ground. And so what's that issue is, were they used by the president? And so... The short answer is they'll say no because they invited him, but he stretched the bounds of normalcy once again by bringing a film crew to those sacred grounds. And there's no uh, excuse for that. And it's evident that there were people there that respect the solemn nature of Arlington National Cemetery that were trying to stop them. So uh, it's once again Trump going outside the norms uh, that we're used to in the United States. He likes breaking those things. He likes being unethical. He likes being amoral. These are the things he's doing. He gets a lot of justification to do this by the right-wing press, uh, but it's very, very sad. And I think those poll numbers that you were mentioning earlier in the show related to Georgia and other states, I think people are actually tired of this. He's the old man in the race now at age 78. 
He's older, he's slower, and he's smaller in terms of the way he thinks about things. Mm. Uh, and I think the momentum is with Vice President Harris.